All right, guys, so now you're about to see the new light design. I'm not sure what to call it yet right now. I'm just calling it the Perfect Sun Cobb XL. And so it's uh, right around 20, um, or it's right around two feet by two feet. It's perfect square. I like that. I like the perfect square lights because they work great. So it's kind of like the Cobb, but it's a little bit smaller than the Cobb. So the Cobb is, the Cobb is, uh, I think it's two and a half feet by two and a half feet. And this one's two feet by two feet. It's also a lot, lot lighter. So that was something that we worked hard on designing. And so it's only like 24, um, 24 pounds, which is about the same as the Cobb. This is going to be the replacement, guys, of the Cobb. The Goliath will probably still sell as a commercial light um, because it does still use less electricity. But this thing beats it. It beats the average par. Th this thing beats everything. This is the new super light, guys. If you want something that's badass, and, but we're about to do the live right now. Right now, we're about to do the live 4x4 four four area. The exact same thing I did with the Black Dog. I'm going to show you guys. The weight. That I already said the weight. Oh. I'm gonna show you guys that the Black Dog is not. It's a big ripoff, and for the amount of watts they're using, their light does not cover the area that it should, it, with with the amount of par that it should cover. Um, I, I showed you that it, what it already covered. Just to re recap, it, at, at 960 watts, it has an average of 697. Watch what this thing has, and this thing only uses. Right now, you can see it plugged in. So you're going right there to that. Boom to that. So you can see it's all legit. 650 watts. Actually, it bounced around from 649 to 650, but we'll take a 650 average. 650, yeah, so it's it bounces around between 649 and 652, but um, so anyway, 650 average. So we're using 650 watts, so it actually uses less than my perfect sun cob, and watch the average par, guys. The average par is gonna blow you away right now. All right, so the amount of distance, this is the exact same thing, I, the exact same, you guys can see the markings are the same as I use for the black, the black dog. But just so you guys can see, we got from the center, Foot. center out. We got exactly 24 inches, so two feet. Everything is everything is legit like that. All the measurements are are legit. So, boom, 24 inches out to this this corner or the middle edge, and uh -huh. you can see you can see that's exact 45 degree angle from the two angles there. So anyway. It's all right, so this wasn't like super long and, and boring as hell. I went ahead and sped this part up of, of doing the measurements, but you're still going to see all the measurement done live. So that was the center measurement of 13 something. I'll show you guys here at the end what all the numbers are. You can kind of see it right there too. Nine was that 930 or something like that. And 935 was the average. And we're going to do all 17 points of measurement. You want to do all 17 points of measurement because that gives you a true average. Uh, because if the light's like you know slightly off balance or anything like that, then you know you can get a higher average on one corner than another corner. So to make sure it's fair, you want to do all 17 points of measurement. No other company does this, and the reason why they don't do it is because they know their lights are crap. They know they're you know anyway. You're gonna see <laughs> this light blows Black Dog away. It's a, it's insane, guys. Um, I can't believe they use like 300 or something more watts, and uh, this thing still is freaking amazing. It's crazy. Uh, but yeah, it uses less watts than the Perfect Sun Cobb, and it beats it. So yeah, the Perfect Sun Cobb is uh, it's got to be replaced, I think. Uh, the only the only thing that might save it is the Perfect Sun Cobb is I don't know I don't, I don't know if I can make this thing is is it might be uh, I don't know if I can't keep the price the same then that'd be the only reason to keep the cop around is if I if the if the price is price that's it. And Cobb is still an awesome light. You know, it still gives you really good, really, really good uh, average par and really good average yields for the amount of watts being used. And yeah, it's still really good light. It's just uh, I finally beat it. I can't believe I beat the Goliath. Man, I beat the Goliath, guys. By a lot, too, not by a little. Wait, wait, you'll see. Watch. Just just keep watching here. The average is insane, guys. This light is amazing. Amazing light. Same perfect sun spectrum. I've mean, actually been slowly tweaking my spectrum to make it even better and better. Um, you know, getting it more and more like the sun to to really just make it an awesome light. And so here we go, just seeing all the different numbers I'm writing down. And uh, I didn't want to speed up too fast because I, I want you to actually be able to see the numbers. If I went too fast, you wouldn't be able to see what I'm writing, you know, like what we're getting on our measurements. And uh, I do the same thing for Black Dog too. Otherwise, it just takes way too long to, because it was like, I don't know, like 10 minutes long or something longer than that. Um, I think it was like 11 minutes long just to do the measurements in real time. 
but yeah, this thing is just, just rocks. It, it, it totally rocks the 4x4 area. And only 650 watts. That's crazy. 650 watts. And, and, and watch, you can see right now, it's like, I'll tell you right now, it's like, it's like 600 and something uh, average. I can't remember the exact number. That's why I'm waiting for it to finish. I just want you guys to see all of the measurements are being done. And that, it, and that way you can do the math yourself. Um, we we'll do the same thing for the black dog. But yeah, so it pretty much is like equal to the black dog uh, with average par, way better spectrum. We already know that you can take my spectrum and uh, you can take one of my lights and another light where both have the same average par, but be there because their spectrum is not as good as my spectrum, my light will still beat it even though they have the same average par. It, it'll beat it on, on actual growth because my spectrum is just so good at, uh, at growing. Right, so there's all the numbers. You uh, add those up. That's 17 numbers. Add all 17 together. Divide by 17. That gives you the average par. Boom, guys. That's what I'm talking about. So you guys saw that live. Just like the black dog. Everything fair and square, guys. Look at only using 650 watts. It's actually, as it's warmed up, it's dropped down. So when you let, a, when you let LEDs warm up, they actually start using less electricity. So this is what we just now measured with at 645 or so. So technically it's like 645 watts, but whatever, we're gonna call it 650 watts, what it was when I first plugged it in. Only 650 watts, guys. That's less than the Perfect Sun Cobb, and, and it's more than the Goliath. But look at this. This is the overall numbers, and you add them all together, and you divide, you divide by 17 to get the average, and we got 663 average par, guys. That blows away the Goliath. That blows away the Cobb. That means the cob is now obsolete. This is the new cob right here. Boom, baby. All right, how you guys doing? So me and my wife here are going to go ahead and do the average par reading of the Fido Max 2, the 1000 by Black Dog LED, just to show you that it is the proper one. I know this is upside down, but notice this is the 1050 watt edition. We'll be using the Sun System par meter here, just like I always use to take the average par rating here. She's gonna help me out doing that because she's gonna do that side. And I'm gonna do this side to make it a little bit easier. It's the plug here that coming from the light is going to a watt meter. And you can see right now, this after has been on for a long period of time. It's keep, it keeps bouncing between like 958 and uh, 963. Um, so I'm just gonna call it like an average of 960, which is good because it's actually using less electricity than what, what is advertised, because what's advertised is 1,050 watts. That's not ideal, because that would be the same as 1,000 watt HPS. So at least this is using a little bit, a little bit less electricity. Uh, the average par in this thing, at its optimal height, is actually pretty good. You're gonna see that right now. But its par is the Mars Hydro. It, it's, not the, it's not the best. This is the exact same spectrum. I didn't mean to say par. This is the exact same spectrum as you would see in the Mars Hydro. And that's the uh, black lights. I don't know about the green lights or the other ones. I think they all use the same spectrum, but I've never seen, I never actually tested it myself, but I have tested the Mars Hydro 1200 with the black light. And this is exactly what the Mars Hydro looks like as far as the color spectrum goes in LEDs. The exact same kind of like greenish white light LED and then the blues and then the reds. And that's why their spectrum looks identical. If you look at Mars is it's identical, and I know that Mars is correct because I actually taken the measurement myself with my spectrometer, um, and that's that's exactly what it looks like. So, all right, keep that in mind. That's not the best spectrum. It will grow nice, frosty, dense buds, um, but it won't grow the big, fat, cola-sized buds. So, if your strain is capable of doing that, this light is not going to give you those big, big, fat colas like you'd get from an HPS or the Sun. All right. So, with that being said, let's go ahead and do the average par here. Now we're going to start. Just to show you here really fast, we're going to start at, uh... all right, so we're going to start at the optimal height right here, which is 29 inches. And that's the height that is recommended with this light. That's the height that I would grow with it if I owned it. And that's the, that's the height that they show to cover four by four well in here. So cover four by four well, they say the height should be 29 inches and you should get a huge average par claims I already know we don't get that average par because i already I already did it <laughs> just now just to see what it was just so curious what it got and it doesn't get anywhere near that so now what's funny is it i'm gonna let you know right now actually i'll, I'll explain what's funny in a second after we do this average par let's go ahead and turn this thing on 
And we'll start with this center reading. Get this going here. So we got 237 for the center. All right, now, and just like I did with my light, with the black dog, we're going to go ahead and put this in uh, fast forward mode, but still show everything that's being measured so you guys can see that everything's fair and square. Um, interesting enough, the black dog actually, well, it's not really that interesting. I mean, it uses freaking 960 watts, so you might as well be using a 1,000 watt HPS. So um, it does get a good average par, but what's really disappointing is you would think with all that motherfucking watts, 900 and you know, 60 watts and up to up to 10, uh, 1,050, depending on depending on which light you get. I mean, it's all depending on whether you get um, lucky or not. Like, as you know, there's there's always an average with lights. So, I imagine their 1050 is probably their higher end. If that's their average, wow, that sucks. I mean, sometimes you might get one that uses more than 1,050 watts. That'd be really lame. But you would think that uh, with that kind of watts being used, that you would get way way high average par. You should get like right around. With a good LED, I know I can get I can get over 800 average par if I used anywhere near 900 watts. Um, you just saw with only 650 watts, I got you know 600 and whatever it was, 667 or something like that. Well, I'll show it right now here in the in the end of here, and and, and what they get is pathetic. It's absolutely pathetic the number that they get right now, considering that they're using so many more watts than the light that I just I just showed. So many more watts. Why? It's because they don't use double double lens technology. It's because they use a crappy spectrum. Um, I don't I, I imagine they use good LEDs, but uh, they don't know how to do them right. They don't know how to use LED. And this just shows you like how important it is to not just have good LEDs, but to have the proper lenses, the proper double lens technology, to have the proper spectrum. Uh, and, and that also gives you big fat buds. Uh, you know, black dog spectrum just sucks when it comes to the kind of buds it gives you. Yeah, it'll give you nice frosty dense nugs, but they're not going to be big, um, even with strains that are supposed to have nice big fat nugs, unless it's a low light, uh, low necessary strain, which is you know pretty rare. Um, but I've seen a lot of grows with this light, and it's like eh. You, know, you see, you see the buds. They're like eh. They're not. They're not. They're not like soda can size nugs like I get with my lights. But here you go, just uh, showing you guys all the numbers here so you guys can see them. And uh, yeah, and after you see all the numbers, then you guys can add them up yourself. But yeah, just it's just, it's just pathetic. And uh, you know, it's really sad too about this light. And 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 I'm really disappointed because I was I was really hoping to give it away to somebody, um, but now I have to return it because they're liars. It doesn't even come close to their average par. I'm going to show that in a second here on their page. Um, they claim the average par is supposed to be like 900 and something. It doesn't even come close to that. You'll see it gets in the 600s, and that's just lame. So not only not only that, but it's just it's loud as hell. It's heavy as hell. You know, it's as heavy as the as the Goliath, um, and it's it's smaller. So that's why it doesn't uh, cover as well. But what's what's insane is that it costs so much money, almost three thousand dollars. You use so much electricity, and you don't even get hardly you get maybe what 30 extra par out of it. You'll see that in a second. That's it. 30 average extra par using over 300 extra watts. No, that's a waste of watts. I mean, I think I think it might be 400 watts. I'll I say it in a second. I do the math. But that's insane, guys. Just please do yourself a favor. Um, buy a different light. Um, use HPS if if if. I mean, uh, if if you don't believe in my lights, that's okay. That's fine. Uh, don't care, but don't do yourself a favor and don't grow up black dog. Like seriously, it, they're such a ripoff. They're they're charging way too much money. They're using way too much watts to try to make a light that can actually grow in a four by four area, and and with that with that spectrum, I've seen what it does. Like I people, I have never seen anyone with this light pull over two pounds with it. I haven't seen it done yet, and. Uh, that's sad because it should be capable of doing that with the average par, but it's just their their spectrum is, is is stupid, and with the amount of watts they're using, they should be able to do that. You can easily do that with with the thousand watt HPS using the same amount of watts, thousand watt HPS. You can easily do two pounds, no problem, all day long. You don't even have to be a master grower; you can just be a good grower to do that. You know, um, I, I I can do that, and, I, and I'm just a good grower. I'm not a master grower. I don't consider myself a master grower. 
Um, I just don't want to give myself that title. I honestly, I can probably, I can probably pull like 2.5 off a thousand HPS, and off the Gavita, I can definitely pull three pounds. But those things use so much electricity, produce so much heat. Anyway, so we're just about done here. Um, yes, yeah, so there we go. You want to take these numbers and add them up? We're about to show you right now. And I think that's about it. There it is. Do, and I'll come back with a number for you. But just you guys, if you guys want to do it yourself, those are all the measurements we just took. Just in case you don't want to go back and watch the whole video, and if you went writing writing them down, add all these numbers together, which there are 17 numbers here. Add all 17 numbers together, and then take that number and divide it by 17, and that will give you the average par for a 4x4 four four area. Now they claim this thing can cover 5x5, five five, and I'm thinking maybe it can, but it's not going to. Let me see that thing over there real quick. I know I know the Goliath covers 5x5 five five really good, especially because its spectrum is so, so good, but yeah, it drops down a lot at the five foot mark so down to 100 par that's just that's not enough especially with this spectrum that just that won't cut it even with the per, even with like the sun spectrum outside 100 par um, that's just not going to really do much so yeah this thing uh i guess if you really want to cover five by five you have to raise it up which is going to lower your entire average par and they claim that their average par for Five by five, it to be 36 inches above, so like three feet or so. And they say it's 596. I already know it's not gonna be that high though. Now I know that is because we're not gonna get 930 right now. Watch, watch the number. And just really quickly, uh, just to show you guys here, uh, that it does bounce around. Now it's at 962, so it keeps going between like, it'll stay at 962, 963 for a while, and then it'll drop back like, you know, to 958 or so, and it'll stay there for a while. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and do this for you guys. All right, so as you can see what we get here, when you add all these numbers up, all 17 numbers, you get 11,856. Divide that by 17, which gives you your average par, which is 967, so almost 700. Now, that's a really good average, average par for a 4x4. Um, the spectrum's not the best, so that kind of that that blows, blows it a little bit. Um, in other words, if, if you had 967 with an HPS, that would still grow bigger buds and, and give you bigger yields because this spectrum here is just not, it's, it's the Mars spectrum, it's not good. If you were growing with Mars Hydro, you know how the spectrum is, it's not very good. Um, but you're also using almost a thousand watts of electricity, so keep that in mind. So at almost a thousand watts of electricity, and I imagine every light varies because so you can't get any light exactly the same, so they're probably... The 1,050 there is probably either their average or maybe their higher, their high end. Um, I probably got a lower end light, so um, that is, by, by, by low end, I mean I got, a, I got a light that got lucky enough to have the lower amounts of watts. Um, if it used more watts, I'd probably get a slightly higher average uh, par. Anyway, so in this case, I like the fact that it's lower than 1,000 watts. Um, so 697. Now, keep in mind that my Goliath only uses 575 watts. It's almost half, half as less watts as this light here. And it covers a four by four with an average of 582 par. So that's pretty much 600. Now, what's crazy is that's only 100 average par higher than my Goliath by itself that uses half electricity. Really, really fast why why black doll recommends this to be at 29 inches away and why that's the, that's i'd either do at 29 or, or 30 inches away myself and um, that'd be as close as i'd get this light and the reason why is also watch what happens here so at two feet away all right watch what happens at two feet away when we measure the edge par over here look at that it goes way down so now we're at Two, two something, 225. And even if I angle it just a little bit like I always do, 279. So we're going, we're going down a lot. Um, so it's actually more efficient of a light and it's a better light when it's, because um, even though the, this middle number goes up to way too high, even with this spectrum, that's just too high of par. So it's like almost 1600.
Yeah, actually, if I angle it just right, it is 1600. So yeah, 1600, I don't know if you see that number. Anyway, so 1600 in the center is way too high even for this par, um, for this spectrum, sorry. That will most likely fry your plants. I know if I had 1600 par on a Mars Hydro, it, it would fry plants. And like I said, this is pretty much the exact same spectrum. And so another way, another place it really hurts it is on this far edge corner over here. It goes down to 190, I don't think you see that. A slight angle, it's like 200, 190 to 200. Yeah, it's, actually, it's like 197. I have it slightly angled toward the light right now, like I always do. If I keep it flat, it goes down to 170 or so. I don't know if you can see that number, but 170. Slight angle it, you get 190. So that's gonna hurt the average part a lot. It's actually probably gonna have... Another point I wanna make here really quickly is a flat lie. This is right here, this came with the light, they flat lie, look it. This is what it says for their average, their average par, right? This is what they're claiming at covering four by four, so that's the coverage area for the Vitamax 2 1000, that's what I have right here. So four by four, they're saying the average par should be 930 at a height of 29 inches. You just saw me do a live video 29 inches away from the, from, from the light. We did not get 98 or 930, not even close to that. We got 697. That's a huge discrepancy. That's not just a mistake. That's a flat, bold out lie. So if they're willing to lie to you about that, what else are they willing to lie to you about? Another thing, I've watched a lot of grows with the black dog lights. They just don't get really big yields. They don't get really big fat nugs. And I've seen the strange people growing. I'm like, I know that that strain is capable of growing soda can sized nugs. And they're not able to get it with the black dog, um, even their biggest light. All right, so thank you to the puppy and the wifey for helping, even though the puppy just kind of got in the way more than anything else. Yeah, you know, you know you did. Guys, so what that means is if you're a good grower, and with my lights, that means you can get two grams per watt. Uh, it's been done by several good growers with my spectrum. That means 2.9 pounds off this light. So 650 watts and the average par, 2.9 pounds. That's what you're going to get off this light. If you're like me, because I know a lot of people think I'm a, I'm a master grower, but I'm not there yet. Um, I usually get right around 1.9. Now, I did get, I did get over, over the 2 grams per watt that one grow, but that was kind of a cheat grow in a way. Like, it, it was so many plants like I couldn't really go wrong I mean, yeah I could it could have gone wrong still but I just feel like it was cheating because of so many plants per that area now that is a saw grow and you know it's a legit way to do it it's the way you, it's the it's the way you'll get your highest yields usually but still um that was the only grow I've ever been able to do it all the other ones that I've done it my buddy did it my buddy got all the other ones that were um you know the 2.5 pounds and the 2.51 and stuff like that uh, mine was, you know, 2.49, which at 530 watts is still um, uh, like two grams per watt. But typically, I get right around 1.99 grams per watt. Um, at least that's what I get with the cob uh, when I when I push it. So two, you know, 1.9 grams per watt though, still with two with 650 watts equals 2.75 pounds. So if you're a good good grower, I only consider myself a good grower, not a super master grower. I'm, I'm almost there. I'm getting there. I'm, I'm borderline. I'm kind of like going back and forth. Like, you know, if I were, I think if I were just to stick to one thing and one thing only and just one strain and, and get her done, you know, then I can be a master grower. And, and I don't know, maybe that makes me a master grower if I know I can do it. I don't know. I don't like giving myself that title. I'm a good grower. So as a good grower, I know I can get 1.99 9 grams per watt uh, my, with my lights. So with this thing, that equals 2.75 pounds. That's insane, guys. 2.75 pounds. Now, if you're a good grower, you can get, you can get three pounds. I was saying, no problem. No problem. I know for a fact because because I know the Goliath, based on its average par, can actually get three pounds. And I, that last grow, when I, when I, when I, did, when I, when I got the 2.48 uh, pounds, I know I could have got the three pounds. I know what I did wrong. And if I would have not done those things, and anyway, um, maybe in the future one time I'll do that. I'll probably do it with this thing instead, and I could probably get over three pounds with this thing. This thing will replace your Gavitas, guys, guaranteed. Look at that number. It's crazy. With the par, with my par, that number is insane. And it will blow your black dog away. It'll blow your fucking kind away. Kind doesn't even compare to black dog. 
Like, yeah, it uses less watts, but their lights are are lame. Like, even their biggest light only gets like six, like 368 average par. That's not going to give you nothing. You'd be lucky to get a pound off that thing. Um, and it uses a lot of electricity, like 600 and something watts. Um, so that's, I think it's 675 is what they advertise. And and and, I, and they they actually have a video where they actually show their average par. I actually posted not too long ago. Um, so no other lights do this. No other company does this, right? Except for Kind. Kind is the only other company I know that does this 17 points of measurement grid. Who cares about the the so-called PPFD and all that kind of stuff? That doesn't give you a true a true average. A true average is manually doing it, manually marking out these 17 points and actually measuring it at the at the at the light's optimal height. That is the that is the height that you're going to grow with that light. You want the center to be right around 1300 or so, and that's going to get you that's going to get your true average par. So if a company doesn't do that, don't trust them, because I can I can easily you know if I did an average PPFD on this thing it would be through the roof it'd be like over a thousand, but that's not a true average par that's stupid I, if you just if you, if you learn the science of how it's done you know taking the average and, and also the average amount of joules per watts that's dumb because that all depends on how close I am to the light if I get this thing a foot a foot to the light I can get my average joules per watt to like four which is insane that's like unheard of you know so. Who cares? That that number is useless. It tells you nothing about what the average, you know, you know what what am I getting at the edges? You know, a lot of these lights like kind you're at the four by four edges. You're only getting like 38, 38 um, par. That's not going to grow shit with thirty eight par. Like how do they? How can they even advertise that as covering four by four? It's ridiculous. Maybe for veg, um, even then you're gonna, it's not going to do too good on the edges. Anyway, so that's that's the point, guys. Is uh, yeah. So we this is the new killer. This is the killer, guys. So expect the cob to go bye bye. It you know it might make a return in the future. I don't know yet. This is going to be the new cob. This is I don't know I don't know if I want to call it that because I don't want to associate it with that the light because I want I want people to think it's the same light. So help me come up with a name for this light, guys. It's a it's I still have a, I still have a while to think about it. Um, I don't want to call it the you know cob XL. So I'm thinking maybe the perfect sun max yield. I really like that idea. Um, or the perfect sun 1000 killer um because <laughs> it's what it is it's the smasher um so i don't know that's a good name perfect sun smasher uh so yeah i just need to come up with a cool name for it and i can't believe it i can't believe i pulled it off i, I never thought i was gonna be able to beat the uh the uh the goliath and what, when i decided was i'm like okay you know what i'm doing all this other stuff that people are recommending i'm trying the cxbs the really big big cobs um, by Cree and stuff like that that use a lot of electricity and I'm trying those with a mixture of five watt LEDs to get my spectrum and, and just trying just the cobs by themselves which I know is not good because it's just, it's just white light and you're missing out on the deep reds and the, and the actually they, they, if you get a 3000 uh, K they have decent deep reds but they're really missing out on the deep blues and so you're not getting that perfect sun spectrum which I know is superior like I've tried all different kinds of spectrums and so then I was like well um you know, so anyway, I tried all these different designs and I, I, you know, I can't, I can't do with those lights. Like that's why I, do, I, I challenge anyway, if you, if you build your own lights, build a light that uses 650 Watts, use whatever you fuck you want and, uh, use your own, your own white spectrum, whatever, you know, like a lot of these guys I see growing with just, with just the Cree Cobb, you know, you know, CXB thinking, oh, these are the best lights on the market, blah, blah, blah. Prove it to me. Prove it guys. Put, you know, put the proof like, why don't people prove stuff? They just talk. They just talk a lot of talk. Prove it. Actually do the 17 points of measurement. This is math. This is science. You can't. This is numbers. Numbers don't lie. Okay. This is fact. This is absolute science. These numbers always, always, always tell the truth with a good spectrum. So like when you get 575 average, average par out of a thousand watt HPS, Hortilux, you know, you can get. 2.5 pounds of that light because the numbers tell you what it can do and anyway so sorry guys i just i'm just sick of people getting ripped off man and spending three thousand almost three thousand dollars on this black dog light and um that's about what i spent on it and i bought it right right from them and it's like wow this light's not even that good and i'm debating whether or not i don't want to give it away honestly like i was thinking maybe i can do a giveaway for it or resell it on ebay i think i'm just going to um you know, get my money back for it because they offer they offer the refund. Because why keep it when like I was originally, 
I had high hopes for it. I wasn't originally, you know, like either resell it or give it away as a gift. Um, but honestly, it's not worth it, guys. It's not worth growing with. It uses way too much watts to give you inferior yields for that amount of watts. When you can use this thing and get bigger yields using less watts. So, and it's a lot, lot cheaper. This thing's gonna be right around the same price, probably somewhere in the, in the middle of the Cobb and Goliath. So it's gonna be the perfect, perfect price. I'm gonna try to keep around the same price as the Cobb right now. That's my goal. So anyway, all right guys, thanks for watching the long, this long video, but hopefully this helps you make an educated decision. If you're gonna buy a light, I urge you not to buy a black dog because if you buy one of their lights that use less watts, the par goes down so much. Even according to their site or according to their page I showed you, their par goes down so much, it's insane that if you use one of their weaker lights you know that, that uses less electricity, you're not gonna get a good yield. You're not, it's gonna be sucky and you're gonna be so disappointed and you're gonna be like, oh man, I'm not getting good yields. Um, so just grow with HPS. That's my recommendation. If you guys are gonna grow with the light, grow with HPS, okay? And if you're not gonna grow with my lights, then grow with HPS. I honestly can't recommend any other LED company out there that is good. I don't know of any of them. The only thing I can recommend if you don't wanna buy my lights and you have the time is to build your own light. Build it using, I recommend building it using these these kind of cobs right here. See these right here and use, make sure you use the double lens technology. I don't think you can see that. Use the double lens technology and use a mixture of the 10 watts cobs, the five watt cobs, and then use some really, really high quality uh, top bin three watt um, LEDs to fill in some of the, some of the spectrum, something like that. Or use some really good five watt um, light bars or, or excuse me, they're three watts. They don't make it, they're, they're fanless, so they're silent. Uh, use a mix of, of three watt light bars. By the way, that's kind of what the, the light I have that I'm gonna be giving away is what it kind of does in cobs. It's a mix of bars and cobs. It, it doesn't matter now, I'll, I'll, give, away, I'll give it away because I know this thing is the killer right now. Um, so you, you, with Bait You Space, you buy on eBay, you can buy some three watt um, cobs that have the double lens technology. And then uh, you have to build a simple frame for it. And I'll show you the, how the frame I built for it. You don't have to build it like I did it, um, but because mine's like all professional and stuff, but you can do it on the more cheap using uh you know steel and stuff like that whatever you want to use even even good thick aluminum but anyway then then all you have to do is uh use those and intersperse them with the uh creek cobs and the bigger the bigger cobs you don't have to use cxb the cxa works just as good and they're and they're way they're way less expensive if you want to do cxb you can that's fine you spend, spend more money um you're, you're gonna have to turn them down a little bit so you don't want to use full power i never use full power you have to learn how to build lights, um, you know, what drivers, but all the information's out there. So if you have the time, you feel like you can do it, then build your own light and uh, try to get it right around the 675 watt range. You really don't want to go more than that, maybe 700 watts. Because anything more than that, and you might as well just grow with HPS, honestly. Like, what, like you'll save yourself a lot of money. Um, so anyway, that's my recommendation. Um, I can't recommend any of the lights right now. Um, the big, the big black dog, I can't recommend that because yeah, even though it has a high average par, the spectrum is Mars spectrum. I kid you not. They use the exact same spectrum as Mars. It's, it's a lame spectrum. doesn't work good. Um, so just know that. And, uh, you know, you're going to be using a lot of Watts anywhere from 960 to 1050. So you're basically going to be using the same amount of Watts as a thousand watt HPS and a thousand watt HPS will beat this thing anyway. So I already know that know it for sure based on other growers that have grown with these grow journals that are done with you know thousand hps is a proven technology so do yourself a favor guys um start out with start out with hps get good with that then move on to leds uh, make your own leds um trying to match my spectrum or just buy my lights and uh i wish there was another led light i can recommend to you i just i can't think of anything there's nothing show me something on the market that compares um some of these cheaper some of these cheaper uh china lights now are trying to copy me so they might be worth getting but they're probably not going to last very long and they don't really hold their warranties they i know for a fact because most of them go out of business um they're they start up their startup companies they start up and then they, then they go out of business because they they suck um but if you want to get something like that like you know that kind of looks like my my cob light or you know they, they try to copy my spectrum even 
they don't quite get it right, but you know, they get close. So if you want to buy one of these cheap Chinese lights that are trying to copy me, and it's kind of funny that, that none of these Chinese companies were using anything close to my spectrum. You know, they were copying kind, you know, or, or, and they were, they were copying, you know, black dog, which is basically Mars. Um, they were, they were copying, uh, King spectrum, which is basically all white light, uh, like three, 3000 K. Some of them do a mix of 3000 K and, and, uh, 6000 K cob lights. Um, so yeah, th th all, all those spectrums were being copied by China with their cheapo lights. And then all of a sudden I come out with my spectrum and within like, I think it was six months to a year of me having my lights on the market. All of a sudden I start seeing my spectrum out there. It's very close. It's not, it's not exact. They're still missing out on the, on the, on the deep reds and the deep blues. It's not quite where it needs to be. They don't have the ratio, right? Um, so they're not good at back engineering, obviously. Anyway. So the point being is that they obviously see that my spectrum is, is, is doing great and doing fantastic and that people are starting to recognize that my spectrum is the best. And I'm not, I'm not, I'm trying, I'm trying not to boast. It's just, it, it's, it's the best. I mean, look at 600, 650 Watts. I'm getting 663 average par. Whether, whether the light can do that, you know, I, I never thought I'd be able to beat the Goliath and I, and I just did. So just keep that in mind. Um, you could buy those cheapo lights. Just, just know that they're disposable. Just know that they might support it for a little bit and, and, and send you some parts. But then after that, they're going to cut you off. And I know this from personal experience, they're going to cut you off and then you're not going to be supported anymore they're, or they're going to go under their company is going to go under, go bankrupt. They're just, they're going to vanish they're going to disappear and you're never going to find them again. And you can't do shit because they're China. You can't fucking sue China. So they're gone. And when they disappear, you have no more support. So now you have a light that you have to work on yourself. You have to try to find parts that are compatible for it. And you're going to be spending a lot more money keeping that thing running. And yeah, so it's just, that's, but I don't know. I can't recommend that. Like, cause yeah, you might be spending 400 bucks, but you can spend 200 bucks for a good 1000 watt Apollo setup, which will last you a long time. Their, their Apollo Ballas last me like two years at least before they burn out. So that's a long time. And the, and the ballas are only like 60 bucks to replace or ballast only 60 bucks to replace. Bob's only $20 to replace the bobs. The bobs want to replace every, every grow anyway, or every other grow. And they last that long. No problem. Um, or now Gavitas are so, so inexpensive and you don't have to get the Gavita brand. Oshio is better. Buy a double ended bulb Oshio, buy a, like a good digital ballast, like a galaxy or something like that. Or you can do something a little bit cheaper that has the turbo option for double ended bulbs and then buy a decent hood. And yeah, that might run you about 500 bucks, but that 500 bucks is going to last you for almost ever. Like those ballasts will last you for three to five years before you need to replace it before they burn out on you. The light bulbs last you from the light bulbs last you from a year or two, and the hoods last your lifetime. So, you know, you replace your bulbs every year. That's what I recommend, and they're about uh, I think they're down like about eighty bucks now a piece for the double ended shoes. Some around there anywhere from eighty to one hundred twenty depends where you buy them, and then your ballast doesn't last you anywhere from three to five years. So, and, and they give you great yields. Yeah, the heat is really hard to deal with, and that's why a lot of people go with LED too. It's the energy anyway. That's a much better, much better bet. You know, if you're going to spend 500 bucks, that's better than buying some like, you know, knockoff of my lights. And it's kind of funny that, I don't know. Anyway, those that know, know. You guys, you guys know. These, these guys are trying to copy me. They're trying to knock my lights. And, uh, you know, yeah. So, all right, guys. That's it. Hopefully, uh, you guys learned something. You learned that. Hopefully, you learned the most important thing I want to show you in this, in this video and that is that black dog is a big fat ripoff. Even if it did deliver, which it doesn't, you know, based on based on the amount of watts used in the par, sucky. The so anyway, um, then they charge way too much money for the lights. It, 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 those lights don't cost that much to produce, guys. They really don't. Um, it's crazy. It, it's just it's, it's 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 insane that it's even legal to actually do what that company does. But yeah, so. That's it. Hopefully you learned that. Uh, hopefully it doesn't. You know. Hopefully if you put too much investment in Black Dog, this doesn't hurt your ego too much. And hopefully you're willing to go. You know what? Hey, it is what it is, and uh, I made a mistake with buying with buying them. And uh, yeah, you could have bought thousand watt HPSs and been getting bigger yields right now, and using the same watts. Um, or you could have bought my lights and got bigger yields. You could just put them closer together 
you know, he could have done Goliaths and closed together and still got bigger, bigger yields. Uh, yeah, so, all right, guys. By the way, that sound in the background is our new automatic uh, Rosen press. It's freaking awesome. It's pretty badass. Yeah, I'll be doing a video on that and show you guys what that is so you guys know what Rosen is. I want to do, like, a video on what Rosen is, what RSO is, what uh, DABS is, all that kind of stuff. But people just know what these terms mean and what, what it is and how it's made. So, um, like, just briefly, like, I'm not, you know, I already have a video. If you guys want to know how to make DABS um, homemade, which will blow you up and kill you, and I don't recommend doing it. I have to say that because of legal reasons, and it's illegal to make, so don't do it. But uh, I do show how, how it's done uh, for safety reasons, uh, for those that know how not to blow themselves up. All right, so yeah, double peace, guys. Fuck Black Dog. I don't care if that gives me hate. I got to be honest. I just, I just got to be real. I got to keep it real. Fuck Black Dog. I proved it, guys. For all you haters out there that are trying to say, oh, no, it's a good light in the phone. Fuck Black Dog. Come on. Be with me, guys. I showed you the fucking scientific evidence. Fuck Black Dog. I know that sounds like hating, but, and it is, kind of, but it's, it, I just don't want people getting ripped off. It's not a hate of, hate really so much. It's more of, I'm so compassionate. I care so much about all you guys, all you growers. I don't want to see you guys get ripped off, and they're ripping you off. And there's a bunch of other companies that are ripping you off too, uh, pot companies, um, nutrient companies. I wish I had the money to, you know, start a nutrient lineup because it's so inexpensive to make nutrients, guys. Good nutrients like psychoflower. I can make psychoflower, and I can sell that stuff for so much inexpensive. Um, and I'm actually thinking about making a nutrient line if I ever. I, I don't know. I just don't know if I have the time. It's just too much work, too much extra business, but. Um, you know, making a good powdered formula that is very soluble and mix it with water. That way it's easier to ship. It's cheaper to ship than the liquid, the liquid kind. Um, even making a liquid kind already, it's already, already built for you in liquid. Um, still, I don't know, but they're, they're such a ripoff. I mean, I could, I can knock the, pro I can make psycho flower, like almost their exact formula, reproduce it. Cause it's, it's not even theirs. Um, it's not like they have their own scientists making it. It's all like it's all like a couple of companies that make that make everything. It's all like the same shit rebranded. I know the companies. I can buy it from these companies from these manufacturers, and they'll put my name on it. I already know this. I already looked into it. I can actually, I can actually buy the formula that's used to make like advanced nutrients, and uh, well, actually not advanced nutrients. I take that back. They actually have their own their own lab. Um, but a lot of these other companies, like you know, like uh, I think General Hydroponics has their own lab too. But a lot of these other companies out there they actually are are all buying from the same manufacturer from the same scientists that make the same formula it's all the same formula it's the exact same nutrients and you, what you do is you buy you have to buy a lot at a time but if you buy enough at a time they'll put your label on it your name on it and it, you can sell it as if it's your own you're basically buying the rights to sell their formula and it, it'll have none of their names will be on it it'll all be your name and it'll be your company um and that's what that's what these companies do and then they sell it for way too much money and I can knock the price in half and still make profit. So and make good profit actually, it's just insane. Um, and I would only do that because to help people to get a good nutrient for inexpensive, you know, for half price. Uh, but it's just a lot of work. If anyone wants to to do that and you have the money and you want to start a business, that's a good business to start. Hey, look at that. it. Looks like a pretzel. All right, guys, double piece. Don't get ripped off, man. Black dog sucks. Fuck you.